you see this Nigerian parents, hmm, they never apologize, so especially our mothers, they never never apologize. Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Kalis, and if you're watching my video for the first time, you're welcome. Today, I came up with this vlog to share with you the fun, the craziness, the dramatic moment with our parents. One of the things that make up growing up in a Nigeria home to be fun is the way our parents respond to questions, the way they respond or they talk to us, especially our mothers. Honestly, it's fun. <laughs> it's so funny, honestly. For example, when you break a plate, eh? When you just break a plate, just start crying. Start crying because when when mom comes back, hey, you go collect better beating. I mean, wodo wodo. That's what you collect. And when they send you on an errand, you just squeeze your face or just change your expression, eh? <clears throat> You collect a very very hot slap. In fact, you won't even know when you reach to where they sent you. Or you ask her a question like, Mom, where should I keep this? She'll be like, Keep it on my head. Come and carry it and keep it on my head. You know the most funny thing is like is that me, a new generation mom, does that to my kids. Crying when you are being beaten is a big offense. Then don't cry. When you are being beaten is a bigger offense they will be like so you have grown you are not for me for me right and when you talk why they are talking hmm. my dear you don't turn to big boy and when you keep silent it means disrespect and one of the most funny thing i'll be upstairs my mom will be downstairs she will give me a shout like shouting my name only for me to rush, thinking that something is wrong. When I get there, she'll be like, give me this. <laughs> um, she'll be like, give me this. Something that is quite close to her. After me, rushing down, thinking that something bad has already happened. They wouldn't want you to have a boyfriend as a girl. They wouldn't want you to have a girlfriend, you as a boy. They wouldn't want you to go out. To socialize it's only from church to the house from the house to school no time to you know have fun with your uh, friends they are so overprotective like and at the end of the day you as a girl they will be expecting you to get married even before the age of 25 isn't that hilarious <laughs> and you see that facial expression you must learn it Nigerian mothers have a special way they talk to their children with their facial expression. Like, you must learn it. Once you just do like this, that's how they do it. You must know what they are saying. You don't need them to talk. Okay? Maybe you have someone there with you. Once you just give you that sign, or more, you connect. You see these Nigerian parents. Hmm. They never apologize, so especially our mothers, they never never apologize. They will be like, go and take your food. Oh yeah, go and carry your food. Go and carry your food. But for them to open their mouth and say sorry, when you in your mind you think you, you are thinking or you are sure that they are the one that's offended, they will never take the blame. They can never never say sorry. <laughs> and giving them money. To keep for you in the name of saving my dear just bid bye bye to that money because the day you ask her to give you that money she will remind you that she's the one or she was the one that carried you in her belly for nine months she will remind you that she, is that like you suckled her breast she will remind you that from the day you were born up to now she's still feeding you the experience, the list is just endless, my people. I know you have not a lot 
please let me know in the comment section your experience growing up with your Nigerian parents. They are the best. To Nigerian parents, they are the best. Whatever they do, they do it for our own benefit, okay? Regardless of the hard time they give us, we love our parents, okay? I'm sending in hats to all parents. Parents watching me right now, kudos to you. They are wonderful, okay? I call it love because at the end, it pays off. To be sincere with you, some of these things I just listed here, I do that some to my children. It's like kind of genetic, like transferable from children to children to children. They are just it. Honestly, I don't know for you, but for me, some of these things, I do them to my children. Thanks for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next vlog. But for now, 